telling you guys we are back with another video today. How's everybody doing? Make sure that I'm recording. I think I got something in my eye. Oh, too late now. What I'm going to talk to you guys today about in this video is that I am searching for my next bike right now. So. You guys already know what I'm getting at this point. I've talked about it a lot and right now I'm just in the process of actually finding a spec that I like. Of course, if you guys haven't seen my previous videos, then I'll tell you right now, but I'm searching for a last gen R6, so 2017 to 2020. And I'm struggling trying to find one right now. But it's okay because I'm still really enjoying the R7. I got, let's see how many miles. A little over 2,000 miles now on this bike. So I'm really been enjoying this thing. I just, um, I just tightened the chain and cleaned it the other day. And then of course you guys saw, got all my levers and everything sorted. So this thing's feeling really good. And I'm so happy with where this bike is at. Honest with you guys right now i'm just thinking about where i'm gonna ride i have no idea what route i'm gonna take i um trying to plan out in my head right now where to actually go to keep this video going i'm a little low on gas but you know what i did figure out on this bike i don't know if you guys have a similar experience but on my fuel gauge when it says that it's low and literally has one bar until empty, that basically means it's one gallon left. There are like six fuel ticks. So I thought that means that it was basically empty, but what I've learned at least with this fuel gauge on this bike is it's not accurate. And whenever I have one bar left or like basically nothing, it's a whole other gallon. Because every time I go to fill up when it's on empty, it fills up at two gallons. And this is a like 3.2 gallon tank, something like that, 3.1. So yeah, do not trust that fuel gauge. But I'm glad it doesn't at least read too high when it's low. I'm glad it reads low when it has more in it. That's, uh, that's definitely the better of the two, so it doesn't leave me stranded. But yeah, every day right now, I'm on Facebook Marketplace, Cycle Trader, and the forums, just looking for an R6. And also some local motorcycle dealer websites just waiting for one to pop up that I like. But right now, all that I'm finding is blue ones, which I don't want blue. And then when I find one in the colorway that I like, they're pricing them 4K higher than it should be. And I'm not gonna pay 17 grand for an R6 or 20,000 miles like nah <laughs> I could go buy like a brand new R1 for that and I know there are so many other better deals that I could get like if I went and got a ZX6R I could find one like that it'd be so easy but I'm just so dead set on the R6 so so no matter what 600 it is I don't care I'm dead set on that R6 and that's what's calling my name. Let's make this light. Do you guys have any other recommendations on where I should check for um, to find one? Or just keep waiting? <laughs> and it's so hard to find one because of course like they're discontinued, people want to hold on to them, which is the whole reason why I want to find one and buy one. I guess kind of solidifies my reasoning into getting one because because if these cleaner ones are easy to come across then it makes them even more valuable and of course I'm just gonna buy the bike no matter what but if it can as well financially make sense and basically be like an appreciating asset it just makes me feel even better about spending that 12 13 grand on one like I did just see one listed on Facebook marketplace 
2020 bone stock. Some dude just said he was using it. I should have went. Some dude just said he was going to use it for the track, but never did. So the bike has 116 miles on it with a tank of race fuel. And that's a really clean spec, but I'm not going to get that because he's asking like 16.5 for it. And I can't justify spending 16.5 for a 600. That's a little, uh, little crazy to me. Even if I have the money to spend, I don't want to spend that much on that. That's just overdoing it for no reason. And there was a steal of a deal last month that stayed away from me in West Virginia. But I slept on it and it got sold immediately. But it makes sense. It was like 10k for a low mileage one. Pretty much bone stock, white, 2019. I lied. Now I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just going to keep following traffic. But yeah, if you guys see any listings or if you're selling one, shoot me a DM on Instagram. I'm looking for 2017 through 2020 Yamaha R6 in black or white. And preferably, and I'm looking for a low mileage, like, and I'm looking for lower mileage, something under 7,500 miles not been dropped clean title just a good clean example of a bike because like i said i pretty much finished up building this bike and i need something to make some more content with so i know if i pick up an r6 and if it's bone stock there's a lot of modifications i can do with that thing to make constant videos on install videos test ride so much it's uh just so much let me flip around. This is like gonna be all traffic now. I might as well just do a U turn, or y'all are just gonna be stuck with me in standstill traffic talking about who knows what. Yeah, if you guys are looking for a pair of motorcycle gloves, these things are so slept on. I don't see too many people with them, and you can probably find these for like 180, 190 bucks. These carbon fours. These things have been awesome. I think these are a great value buy. I've been really happy with these. I have a medium and when I first picked them up, they were way too tight, but of course, after breaking them in, now they feel perfect. So I highly recommend these. Not paid or sponsored or nothing. These are just a really good set. Right about now though, I wish I bought a perforated leather jacket Feel like i'm in a sauna right now at the stoplight when i'm moving i'm chilling it's totally fine but when i'm stopped it's rough but yeah for my r6 build i already have something in mind the colorway the mods the exhaust um certain decals everything i'm already like set on how i'm going to build that bike and trust me you guys are going to love it so i'm really excited to find one soon I hope and then get that whole build rolling I think white's honestly probably what I want to pick up because if I get a white bike and I keep this it would match so well and that's another question I've been getting from you guys is am I still gonna keep my R7 when I pick up an R6 and truthfully I want to definitely that's um, that would be ideal to have both but I'm not gonna keep this bike if I don't ride it I don't think, did this light not gonna set off for me? I don't think this light's gonna go for me. I think I'm too light. Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's no other cars taking this left turn, so it's just me on this bike and it's not enough weight to trip this sensor. Oh. Now I'm gonna sit here for another five minutes. Please, someone pull up. Because I can't even sneak into that lane of traffic. That's way too much. I 
Can someone please turn left? Save me, please. Guys, I think I've been sitting at this light for like a good eight minutes now. Um, on the bright side, I probably lost a couple hundred calories. Yeah, it's got to go this way. Now I feel so much better. <laughs> now I got the air flowing, I'm chilling. Nice, nice R3 right there. That's a cool colorway. I'm not even gonna try and take a U-turn again. I'm just gonna get messed up on that. Ooh, is that ZS6R? Exit ramp. Yeah, CX6R just passed by. I love the KRT colorway. If I get past this traffic, I'm gonna go hit some back roads real quick. Now we're back in traffic with this lovely. Northern Virginia <laughs> traffic. Should be some little back roads this way. Let's hope we still got some decent battery life left. find out yeah I did <laughs> well <laughs> I went the neighborhood route I didn't go the back road way check my phone real quick make sure I'm not missing nothing cuz I don't got no quad lock so I can't see it There are some nice roads right down this road and it loops all the way back so that's where I'm going to head to right now. I'm going to cut to it when I, when I get over there. I'll save you guys the boredom of sitting at this red light. such a nice sweeper to take fast but these cars are blocking the, the opportunity see there it is that one bar of fuel and that makes me feel like I'm about to bike's about to cut off it's about to be on E but that means one gallon <laughs> I've pretty much come to the conclusion to those gas pumps are so old though. I'm not gonna go that one, I don't trust it. Bro. He saw me though. I'm not mad about that one. All right, we still got battery life left. That is a success right there in itself. Here's some little turns over here. I might as well just go grab some gas real quick. Because I'm probably going to go out again later and don't want to have to worry about that.
fill this thing up. Let's see how much this thing takes. I'm going for 2.2 gallons. That's my guess. Basically full. Two gallons. See what I mean though? There's only one tick of gas and so has a whole nother gallon. Uh, my camera just died so it's about to cut out again so take care and peace i'll see you in the next one thank you guys for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did drop a like subscribe let me know in the comments what you thought about anything i said in this video good or bad i want to hear it